Hey guys, so we just arrived at our condo that we're staying at while here. Jay's moving us in. <laughs> Alright guys, we'll be back. We'll check in with you guys after we get settled. Wow, this is so good, guys! Eating some fresh, super super sweet papaya, or what us bitches call papa. Okay, hmm, grown in the garden. From my sis, Birdo. Oh my god, guys. Only organic, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm going to do this. It's so good. Mm. I forgot how good papaya is. Mm, 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 mm. Listen. Yeah. Chef Jay is chefing it up. This is our first day on the island. And it was busy as hell. <laughs> I haven't had a chance to slow down, except for now. We're in this swimsuit that I may or may not get to wear in the beach. But I mean, at the beach, not in the beach, yeah. But I have it on because nothing else I probably could go in the pool we are like two steps away from the beach not on the beach but across the street from the beach which is good enough mm, mm, mm. yeah but we gotta go I need an extra hand mm. all right so I realized I just said the first day on the island this is actually the second day but we are so busy you know doing the most and yeah I'm have a feeling this vlog is going to be very very helter skelter you call me mommy I feel like you could take it after that yeah I just wanted to make that correctly right, I'm gone again Good morning fam. It is Wednesday morning and this is the first time I'm actually getting to come out to the pool area just to like, check it out. My alarm is going off. It is 7.15 a.m. right now and I've been up for like about 45 minutes. Took a shower. I have my workout work. We're on <laughs> and decided to take a look at the pool because I haven't had a chance to come over to the pool area so it's very small the pool <laughs> big and it's being shared by all the guests here at this condominium and it's a pretty large condominium I can't tell you how many um, rooms but there are three different buildings I like it but I don't love it I loved where I stayed that last time much more but it's in a very good location as well just like where it was um it's actually about five minutes away from where i stayed before so not far um from um, activities and whatnot but i don't know if i'm gonna really have time to do a lot while i'm here when i do get some downtime like when maybe my sister or my cousins or someone comes by and stay with mom and i'll get to go out for a bit but at least I have the pool, right? Despite how small it is, I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. 
Um, I also don't like that the space does not have a lot of trees. It's all paved like concrete. Um, just a few trees planted here and there, but not many. I just love a tropical feel. I love a lot of trees like behind us. You'll see these banana leaves. So these banana trees are back there. That makes me feel good, just seeing that. Yeah. Anyway, so they have a hot tub. So I'm thinking that maybe this evening I can come and soak in it for a bit. If um, I have the opportunity to do so. Yeah, mom keeps me very busy. I don't know how my sister then does it, but I think spending time with her is so important it doesn't matter how busy she keeps me it's worth it you know so for those of you who may be new here welcome um, <sighs> I never even started out this video in any particular order I just kind of like jumped in so my name is Gloria also known as Life is Glory B if you're new um, visiting my mom who has stage 3 cancer and she's also partially disabled and um, has nothing to do with the cancer she's just partially disabled and she recently had a blood clot so she's not able to really move around so that makes it hard um, basically we have to do pretty much everything for her yeah <laughs> just about uh, I mean she can feed herself but my, my thing is she can't move around so she has to be in a wheelchair she can't use a walker right now she was able to use a walker when I was here about two months ago and since then she had the blood clot so she can't use a walker she has this leg that's super super big like it's swollen um, like twice the size maybe even three times the size of the other leg but my mom's also very small now she's lost a lot of weight since I haven't seen her a lot so it was really hard for me to see that too. Yeah, but I'm happy to be here. It's Barbie it is y'all. <laughs> What's not to love? What not to love about Barbie does? Anyway, let me show you guys the pool. I'm gonna go and get some coffee. I have to prepare for my workout because I'm still working out while I'm here. And the class starts at 7.30 US time, well, Eastern Standard Time. Here we are an hour behind sorry we are over in front since daylight saving time is is um it's happening so 7 19 here so i'm gonna head in have a look an hour and some I'm gonna go clean her up try to get her some breakfast or at least some tea or something and then after my workout work begins i'm working as well i think i'm gonna call out for the next two days though i think i'm gonna call out tomorrow or maybe even today I might even call up today guys because I feel like I really need time for myself yesterday I was moving at such a high speed I was constantly doing something and you know <laughs> I never had that chance to relax until about maybe 6 p.m. our time and that's when my cousin sorry that's when um, some friends and family came over yeah I have a friend a very close friend who's also with me and she's been so helpful <laughs> we picked her up um, almost immediately when we got in we got our, we picked up our car we dropped off our suitcases and we went for my mom and she's not far from my mom so she came with us she's been very helpful as well my friend Verdell she's such a sweet soul yeah anyway so even with her I'm still busy <laughs> even with her help I'm still very very busy I want to just sit and chat with you guys for a bit because I've been in motion constantly all right let me show you guys what I'm currently wearing I picked up I pick up most of my workout wear from Marshalls. Did I go out Marshalls? Yeah, these. Yeah, I think I got these from Marshalls. Yes. Sometimes it's TJ Maxx, but this time it was Marshalls. The 
top is from Nike, but I can't remember the name of the brand for sure. So it's not a, like they don't have a logo on the outside. It's probably one of those like very cheap brands because I didn't pay much. I got two of them for like ten dollars or something, but they fit so good. I love them. This is the pool area over here, and the jacuzzi is over to the other end. And these are all people's condominiums, so it's not a whole lot of privacy when I think about it. But this is the seating area over here. So this is the first time I'm actually exploring our surroundings. In the third day that I was here, I'm finally outside. Yeah. So this is not a vacation, but <laughs> I should be able to enjoy some of the beauty of my surroundings. So we walk into the beach. Them rocks hard, you should probably keep on the slippers. The rocks are very jagged over here, guys. In fact, most of the time, that's how it is because they are constantly being beaten by the water and that's one of the reasons why they're so hard and sharp. No, Thursday morning. I can't believe the week is almost over. 
and I really haven't had any downtime yet like not any significant amount of time and I just wrapped up my workout I'm about to go get breakfast last night I went to bed like one I had about three I had three brands who I needed to submit content to and I had so much trouble with one of them just submitting the content took up at least an hour of my night still never got it submitted because something seemed to be wrong with their platform anyway so I have to finish that up today and I think tomorrow we're gonna try to do something and over the weekend get yeah we're gonna definitely get some downtime for the next couple of days but I am about to go have some breakfast I just finished up my workout this is my what I wore today new balance top the tights are by yoga Lisi, I think it says the luxe brand but you know what I had the other the green or lime green on yesterday so this was the second shorts that came in the set so it was a pack of two I love these so much I need to go back to Marshall's and pick me up some more guys that's where I usually get my clothing my workout clothes from I go to Marshalls or TJ Maxx um, very seldom do I just go into a sports goods store and buy my workout wear because they're so much cheaper when I get them from these stores so that's where I get most of mine right I'm gonna go take a shower and get some breakfast and I will check in again with you guys later Good morning. The mm -hmm. water ever hot. See if I'm good. good. Morning. It is Saturday morning and we got up early. We decided to get some coffee and just come up by the pool and relax for a second. Every morning, I usually just hit the ground running, I get up, I take care of my mom. I have to like clean her up she can't really do anything for herself so clean her up and then get her breakfast and whatnot and then I prepare for my workout so it's like I've been just constantly moving and I realized that no I didn't just realize that you know but I realized that my sister and my, my cousins and whoever else has to take care of my mom I've been handling so much with her it's been a lot but I am grateful and I'm thankful to be here and I'm grateful and thankful to them for being here for her when I am not here. I really wish I could be here more and I'm trying to think of all the ways that I can do that but I don't see it happening like immediately but as much as I can come and spend some time with her, I will. I. <sighs> I'm so thankful to Jay for being able to come as well. I couldn't do it on my own. I could not. And I say that because of the amount of heavy lifting I have to do with her. She's a solid woman, you know. She's lost a lot of weight, but she's still pretty heavy to lift up and move around. So I think that when you have no choice, you do what you can. And I would have figured out a way to move her but I, w I would probably i don't know be really stressed out if he wasn't helping or if i wasn't getting help for someone not sure what we're gonna do today yet but i have my workout in another two hours or so so i'm gonna just relax here for a few minutes and uh, finish my coffee and then i'm gonna go in and take care of her my cousin is here so we might be able to Jay and I might be able to go out for a bit today. That's if she's not planning on doing something. Either way, you know, I'm hoping that at least we can go get brunch or something. I haven't really spent time at the beach per se. We went to the beach and we took photos and I went in the water. But it wasn't a beach day. I need to get a better beach day than that. Yesterday was so much fun. It was a beautiful day. We went to Harrison's Cave. That cave is so beautiful. It's considered the number eighth wonder of the world, which is a huge deal. I just love that whole 
history behind how the cave was, how the cave came to be. It was always there, but being discovered, and apparently people already knew about the cave back in like the 16th century. And it was named after someone who owned that, that land. That was beautiful. And then afterwards, we went to Lobster Alive for dinner. Um, my friend Bardell, she was with us for the entire afternoon. Um, yeah, it took mom to do blood work in the morning. And that didn't take long at all, surprisingly. Usually things take very long in Barbados, those kind of services, but it was like in and out. She spent about 10 minutes just sitting in that long. I'm almost done with my coffee. Guys, I have so many bruises from knocking myself up in that bedroom. <laughs> the space in the bedroom is so small. I've gotten like four bruises. I don't know if you guys can see the one. And these are two other ones. This one right here, I just touched it. I'm like, why is that so sore? And then there's another small one right here. So I got one here, I got one here, like, and another there. Probably have more that I'll discover soon. Because when you touch them, is when you realize, oh my god, I'm in pain. I'm sore. Alright, my love. I'm going back in and really get my day started now. And in case you're wondering, you guys probably saw this swimsuit before. I got the shorts from H and M. This swimsuit is um, I had it on when I was here for a couple over. So you guys have seen this before. Hey guys, so now that the workout is finished, I'm gonna do some cleaning up, get some breakfast. Actually, no, I'm not eating breakfast. I have something very, very light to eat. Because I think Jay and I are gonna go to have some brunch. But yeah, I'm gonna put the place back together because I'll be moving everything out. So I am getting dressed to head out and maybe have lunch with Jay. And I'm actually wearing a dress as a skirt. Now this, is actually a skirt because <laughs> it has a short on it as well. Um, the room is so small that you can't, like, I can't step back far enough. You, oh, maybe I can. Mm -hmm. ah, much better. And you can actually see all of me. So these are the sleeves. They actually may look or appear to be huge pockets on the side. Um, yeah, this dress is from Della Moda NYC. If I pull it up, you guys can see how it was meant to be. So this comes up to my shoulders and actually the part that's here is a string to tie in the front, but I have it wrapped around the back and tied here. So you can't really see it because it's, it's underneath. So that's what cinches in my waist basically. I have on this swimsuit. Honestly, I don't remember the brand. Guys, I've had this swimsuit for maybe four years. I've been wearing a lot of the things that I've owned for a long time, so I don't really have like new things or a ton of new things to share with you or to tag. <laughs> but if I have time, we'll try to find something similar. But I really love this green. I'm tying this back again. So this is 
and how I have it tight at the back. And this part was wrapped around. And that just hang down, almost looking like pockets. Almost. That's the vibe. I probably wear my sandals. I bought one pair of sandals with me, which are, which are my Aloha sandals. I think I have them at the door. Yep. Yeah. Don't have them in here. So, you guys may have seen my Aloha sandals several times before if you were um, subscribed for a while. And then I think I'm going to wear my Tom Fords. That would be the vibe. I wore my hair up today because I felt like I wanted to show off the top of the swimsuit, especially with the bows here. And I'll be wearing like one of my favorite summer bags. This is made out of like a raffia material. And I love this green, which matches with my green, green swimsuit. So yeah, I also took some photos with this bag yesterday. And a beautiful long, um, long yellow papaya colored dress. If I tell y'all how many compliments I got, yesterday with that dress everywhere i we went to the harrison's cave we did the tour so afterwards i walked with the dress to take some photos there because the grounds are so beautiful and i went and i made a quick switch came out of the bathroom and as i'm coming out there's this guy he said oh my gosh i love your beautiful yellow dress and the flower you look like a flower basically is what he was saying he said you look just like a flower with your flower in your hair and yeah that was kind of what i was getting all night in fact we stopped to eat at lobster alive and everyone every time i moved people people's eyes were on me i didn't expect that kind of um response or reaction from that dress i love the dress i just didn't know that it would make such a statement it's just that full like full wide extra dramatic bottom and then the oversized sleeves and the cold shoulder that dress is a vibe and i want to have somewhere like that i'll insert the name of that brand i purchased it from revolve and at the time i think it was on sale i'll see if there's still more of those as well but we have a yellow swimsuit with my choker that i got from Amazon. I'm thinking of doing a photo shoot after we have um, lunch and later on tonight I think we're going to take my mom for a ride and grab some dinner. Uh, yeah, my cousin is here with us so she's going to be staying with my mom when G and I go take a few photos and have lunch. All right. I don't know how good you guys were seeing me before but I realized I was looking a little dark. So. I should move you guys over here. It's because I'm back in the light, but there's light coming from over there as well. Yeah. Wearing my earrings from Zara's as well as their necklace, their choker, and the matching butterfly bracelet. This bracelet I actually got out of, of uh, a goodie bag. I love this so much. It says, be true, be you, be kind. And I just love those words. It's such a vibe. So I pretty much wear this every day. And this ring I purchased from here. Um, a wrong crop over I think when I was here. And I don't remember where this ring is from. I have a lot of things I've worn for a long time. This is part of a love um, ring set that I got from Adornia. And this is the O. Look, I don't know where all those other letters are. But they're somewhere so now you can see me a little better. Yeah. My Tom Fords are my favorite. Tom Ford is actually my favorite uh, sunglass maker. And I love his um, ready to wear pieces as well as his shoes. I, I love Tom Ford. But I can't afford him so much yet. I'm say. <laughs> I've already lost one of his um, glasses. They aren't classics. They, are, they were appear that were like a special edition so i don't know that i'll ever get those back i talk about them a lot those red 70s 
sunglasses that were very much like these. Same kind of shape with this same thing that can flip in and out. <laughs> and that tortoise shell, which is something that I gravitate to a lot. But in the red um, shade. I think that's it for now guys. I have a few more dresses that I brought with me to do a photo shoot. What I think I'm gonna do tomorrow, since it may be a low key day, is do a try on haul for you guys, because I do have a couple of new items that I wanna share with you. So not a lot, just a few. So I think I'm gonna make that a part of this video, um, this vlog. Guys. Hey fam, so we just got back from Surface Cafe and I really love the ambience mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. I took a few photos and whatnot. <laughs> Just behind me biting up my legs, guys. Please. What the hell? <laughs> Stop it. Ow! Yo. He's that thing for ski out. <laughs> Stop it. Juma. Stop it. I can't. He was dressing me up with boobs. He's a big kid. I mean, I am too, but sometimes I don't know who is worse, but I think he is more of a big kid than I am. But anyhow, like I said, Amias is really good. The bartender there, Amina, was super sweet. She made the best drink. It was a special drink for Valentine's or for the month of February. It was made with strawberries, so I don't remember the exact name, but just in case you're going there during the month of February. That drink was a go for me. Might be a tad sweet, but if you like sweet drinks, that's good. I'm about to drink a whole gallon of water to flush the sugar from my system because I'm trying not to use too much sugar and I haven't really been drinking a lot since I've been here. Um, like the ambiance was just perfect. I love where we sat, just being by the water, having the water to come in and just hidden against the building and yeah it almost felt like you were eating in a boat in a sense and right by the water so it was really beautiful ambiance yeah anyway so not sure what the rest of the evening holds for us but we will see all right talk to you later I am getting ready to do this try on for you guys and just about to lotion my skin. I just applied some makeup. Very simple makeup. Nothing crazy. I just love a blue or green eyeliner under my eyes. Just love that. So on my skin, I'm actually going to use this Nicole Avani oil this is the body elixir it's called fallen rose this is what i've been using since i've been here i sometimes mix this with my lotion because it really gives you a good shine see that i just <laughs> i love it and it also moisturizes at the same time so i just love to rub this all over my skin especially my legs oh my god it really just allows my legs to really shine. So I love that. And this bottle is just the perfect size for me to travel with. And I also love the smell. So good. Guys, I braided my hair the night before I traveled. I probably mentioned that before. It took me about eight hours, maybe less, because I had so many interruptions. But I love these braids. I actually. I'm thinking about rebraiding them exactly like this as soon as I take them out. They're so easy. Okay. All right. So I'm about to go do this trip. Oh, and I'm wearing my night dress. This is a slip dress that I've had for a very long time. I used to wear it out. Then I started wearing it at home. But I could still wear it out if I wanted to. But yeah, it's just simple, very simple dress. Let me show you guys what it looks like. lighting in here because all right let me go this all right that should be a little better in terms of lighting it should 
probably turn on this light as well. I haven't shot any videos in years yet. Okay, so it's very bright out, but for some reason it reads dark when I look at the camera. So maybe it's not that way for you guys. Maybe you are seeing me clearly. Sometimes I feel like it looks so dark. Love my all right so i'm gonna go put the first look on i'll be right back hey fam so this is the first look i'll set back so you can see the complete dress this dress i think is from a brand called swf it, i purchased it from revolve the waist is a little bit too big for me so i plan on taking it in I picked up an extra small, which is surprising to me that it's still a little too big. So you will see that I do have a lot of room in it. The back is fully elastic, so it has a lot of stretch. So I would say that you could go down a size. I don't think it goes lower than an extra small though. I love this dress. I really love the dramatic sleeve and the cold shoulder. It's so elegant. I got so many compliments on this. I wore this on. Friday, last Friday, the first time that we actually got to go out <laughs> last Friday. We went to Harrison's Cave and I took some photos there on the grounds. Harrison's Cave is so beautiful. The grounds are stunning and I think they're expanding and doing a whole lot of things there. They have a bunch of activities that you can do there from zip lining and then they have like tight ropes, um, different obstacle, like an obstacle course type thing. And I believe they're opening this huge pool for the public to come and hang out. There's going to be a bar, there's going to be food. So I'm looking forward to doing that on my next trip because I think by then it's going to be open when I return. All right, and I'm wearing my bracelets that, again, I've owned these forever. Got these from flea markets in New York City. Um, this ring as well, I purchased this from a flea market. And I think I wore this with a green raffia bag. Both of these bags work with the dress. But when I took my photos, I decided to add some color and I went with the green raffia bag. This was also purchased off of Revolve. I don't remember the brand, but they may still have this. Or maybe not. Again, if they do, I'll make sure to link it. Anything that I have today, that's still available, I will make. And this is one of my favorite bags. I call this the Arc. This is by Aranaz. Oh, love this bag so much. I took this with me after doing the photo shoot. And I traveled with this bag a lot this time on this trip because it was just easy. I could throw it over my shoulder, wear it at the crossbody if I wanted to, or just take it with the top handle. I am wearing my Kalgaya heels, the ones that have that very geometric shape with the round hole in the heel. So this was the full look. Oh gosh. And today I'm pairing the look with my Tom Ford's. Let me go try on the other look for you guys. So today we are supposed to go to like a rum tour. It's at Morgan Lewis and there's this train, the only train track currently being used in Barbados and it's used for just tourism. Tourists and Bajans alike will, ha will do this. So it's going to be my first time getting on that train and it's close to where I grew up actually. So. Jay and I are going to head there afterwards. And I think I'm going to wear this dress, take a couple swimsuits and take some photos today. By the way, this is our last day. Actually, no, tomorrow's our last day, but tomorrow we're leaving in the afternoon. So we don't have a lot of time tomorrow to do anything. So we're going to try to do as much as possible today. I don't know why I chose to do this trail on this morning. I wanted to do it yesterday, but, but sometimes the distractions with my mom and then doing other things those things took up my day yesterday and I didn't get a chance to. So this morning I was up at about 6.30, took a shower, put on my makeup, had a cup of coffee. And I, you guys were my first priority, getting this to you. This dress is another oldie. When I tell you old, I got this dress from Daffy's or Century 21. None of the two of those 
um, stores are open anymore. So you could just imagine how long I've had this dress. I probably had this for about 10 years. <laughs> and it's still so beautiful. So one of my favorite um, parts about the dress is it has these shell details on both of the straps and then the back. Okay? You you like come on. I think it goes perfectly with this Aranaz bag. So I'm also wearing my cult guy heels with this look. I walk with a few heels, but this shoe just works with everything. With my Aranaz bag, I can also wear this as a crossbody like this. And this also goes over my shoulders. So I like that I can be hands-free when I wear these, this bag if I want to. For jewelry, I popped on these earrings that I purchased on Amazon. A bit back to my statement pieces that I picked up from a street fair in New York. And I took my flower out because I felt like this more has an ethnic vibe. They were competing for attention, the dress and the flower. Hey fam, so this dress was sent over to me by a fellow um, Bajan. I had this dress for maybe over two years now and I never got to wear it. It's not that the opportunity didn't present itself, I just forgot that I had to dress. So usually when I'm traveling, I try to look at all of my summer pieces and pick out the things that I haven't worn in a while or things that I haven't worn at all. Forgot that I had this. So I found this amongst all of the other things that I own. Your girl got a lot of clothes. She has way more than she thought you said she has. So I love the fit of this. I really love how it just gives you that defined waist by having the extra um, band around the waist. And I live for a good cutout. All right, I find that the light is a little too dark over there. So anyway, all right, so this is better. So you can see the full dress when I step back. All right, I'm gonna step back and show you the full look. I kept on my bracelet that I had on before and that same ring and my cult guy shoes. <laughs> ah, yeah, I get sick of these. And I'm pairing it with a San Bono green bag. I also love that it shows a lot, some more skin here with these long slits. The fabric is very thin, so if you're going to wear this, you have to probably think about maybe wearing a nude boy shorts or something underneath. I think I'm gonna try one more look for you guys. One or two more looks, because I gotta get ready. So next is this set. I got this from the same black owned brand as the last dress that I had on. And because up here is a little bare for me and I feel like not secure in this top, I probably, so to add a little bit of coverage for this, I'm going to be wearing this kimono. This is from Free People. Purchase this Eons Glow. Eons. <laughs> I think maybe five or six years I've had this. And I've worn it a ton of times over the last five years. Alright. Here we go. So mix and print, which is always a vibe. And just to add a little bit more drama to this, I'm going to be wearing these white sunglasses that are from Amazon that remind me of the... These remind me of the Burberry sunglasses. Love these so much. All right, and why not add some more color by wearing my green Stambona bag. I could also wear the green raffia bag, either way. Let's see which one is better. I actually think this is a better look. What do you think? 
Oh yeah. Now this screams Caribbean girl. I love the wide legs in this pants. I'm gonna step back so you can see the entire look. And of course, the pockets. I love to find pockets in a pants or a skirt or a dress because it gives you something to do with your hands. It really does. Besides a place to store things. Pockets just makes a different look when you put your hands inside of them. Whether you're just resting them in or putting them inside the pocket fully, it just adds interest to the look. The back of this kimono has like a little opening as well, so it has some ear bits on both sides. So you still get a little bit of ear flowing through it. It's not fully covered. Here's a full look. Oh, and I forgot to say that I am wearing my Cult Gaia heels in white. Now, I've shown you guys these before in a previous video, maybe two years, maybe a year ago or so. I pre ordered these and I've not worn them at all since I got them. I haven't worn them out. I love that Cult Gaia, it just creates these geometric, almost like architectural type of shoes and I was drawing to these let me take them off and show you what they look like so these are the shoes I just love the shape of them but I don't get to wear them enough so that's very disappointing to me because when I purchased these I was really excited to receive them all right guys all right fam I'm back this dress is by Rotate so I just joined the net porte sale so i got a few things when they had the sale and this is probably my favorite purchase the only issue is though it's my size my boobs aren't fitting in completely so i had to make a little bit of adjustment and you know some tape and whatnot i really love this dress all right i haven't gotten to wear this but like i said this is a try on love this dress so much I am pairing it with my Sinbono oatmeal bag. I think that's the color they call it, oatmeal. And left my flower in. It's always a vibe. Anytime I'm on vacation, I'm going to be wearing a flower in my hair. I'm wearing my Fandashi earring, and in the because it's only a single one. And in the other ear, I'm wearing my butterfly earrings that are from Zara's. All right, let me show you the complete look. These cow by heels go with pretty much everything. If you're going on vacation and you want to pair, seriously, these are all you need. I absolutely love them. will not be available because I'm shopping my wardrobe. I'm wearing it with these sunglasses that are from Amazon. These are actually Jay's own. I, borrow, I paired the look with the Simbono green bikes. I mean, papaya or orange or I don't know which color is it to you. Orange, I call it papaya because it's kind of like a mixture of orange and yellow. Absolutely love it. it has this super, super deep back. And it's just roomy. Has a finding wear something other than Kalgaya. These heels are by Pat McCon or Pat McCon, depending on how you pronounce her name. Absolutely love these. I've been dying to wear them. The shoe each looks slightly different. I find that one of the frills around the top, this one always tends to fall down, while this one stays up. But I just love the color car combo with this romper this romper is meant to have a wide leg but i preferred it with a narrow leg so i tied two bows at the sides to draw them in to make them more look like a type of like a parachute i feel like a him on a pants looks better on me than a wide leg i sometimes would wear like a boot cut that or a flare cut looks good on me but a completely wide from top to bottom 
pants I find doesn't always look that good on me because of my shape. I have more of a boyish shape and I find that the wider bottoms just makes me look even more straight. So, so since this is such a plain romper with not a lot going on, I added the flower for interest and I added a layer of small bracelets as well or bangles. I think I have one more look for you. So this is the final look. This dress is by Lacademy, I think. It's an I'll put the name on the um, screen because I may be pronouncing it incorrect. Now this dress is a see-through dress. So the entire bottom is sheer. So if you're gonna wear this dress, bear that in mind. It's more like a beach dress, so it's definitely for a vacation. But sheer and see-through looks are very much in right now. So someone might just wear this as it is <laughs> without wearing anything special underneath. I picked this up in a small, but I feel like I could have gone up just a bit just to have more coverage on the top area. And it was a struggle getting this on because I was like, where am I putting my arm? <laughs> I probably needed to look at the dress one more time, like on the model to figure out what I needed to do to get it on. So it's not that it was difficult to get on. It was just figuring out where my arms and my, you know, whatever. The cutout had me confused. So I'm wearing these basket earrings. Is it? Hanifa? Oh my god, where did I get these from? And I have the other basket earrings to these. I'll put the name on the screen for you guys. So sorry. Wearing a bunch of um, bracelets again, the multiple layers, and then the big cuffs together. And added my raffia bag in green. And I'm wearing my cult via nude heels again with the geometric heels, that round one. Listen, those are just my everything. look all right sis has to get out of here stop <laughs> guys thank you so much for watching this try on haul and i don't know if this is going to be separate from the vlog or if it's going to be a part of the vlog but thank you so much don't forget to like comment subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys in my next video love you guys bye hey fam so it's with a heavy heart that I'm heading to the airport. Really wasn't ready to leave yet. Really wasn't ready. Um, yeah, I want to spend more time with my mom. So I'm thinking about the next flight. I'm looking for cheap tickets because right now tickets are so expensive. Like. A probably a round trip seven to eight hundred dollars easy so um yeah anyway getting to the airport back to life real the other life <laughs> god this is real life oh my gosh I just remember I have to call my cousin anyway thank you guys for tuning in to this vlog and for sending me all your love and your support mom is definitely not doing great so it's yeah anyway life you really have to church every moment every moment with your family your loved ones your friends but I'm so happy that I have the chance to continue, yeah. To continue, you know, doing all of the things that I need to do with her. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I gotta make sure Jake goes the right way. But yeah, I'm so happy that I was able to do this and that I'm able to do this because there's some people who never get a chance to really spend quality time with their loved ones. You know, and death is certain, like, we all have an expiration date, but we don't so focus on that. We tend to focus more on just living our lives. And it's best to do it that way because we just don't know. But when you realize that there is someone close to you, who it's very possible, 
it's very possible that they may not be around next month tomorrow next year it starts to really wear on you so it's been a little tough for me <sighs> all right guys i'm very distracted by the road right now so i'm gonna go don't forget to subscribe um, subscribe if you haven't already and like this video leave your comments below and share this video please i love you all so much and i look forward to seeing you in my next video bye guys <laughs>